Good evening, Wood County Republicans. My name is Tiffany Denzik, and I have the privilege of sitting here tonight with my husband, Bob Denzik. We are going to talk about Republican ideals of faith, family, and freedom. Bob, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Pleasure to be here. Let's talk a little bit about our Christmas lights and the faith, family, and freedom aspect of it. Let's cover the faith side of it first as far as why we named our show The Ageless Child's Christmas. Certainly. So The Ageless Child's Christmas really had several sources, but first and foremost it comes from the Bible that tells us that we must approach heaven as is the, uh, with the eyes and heart of a child. We also look at this and say that when we see people out front and they're looking at the lights, they do have that wonderment, they do have that sense of joy that you had as a child about the excitement and the wonder and the renewal of Christmas. And that's what we're hoping to bring. Um, we have messages throughout that talk about the, our birth of our Savior, and we really want to emphasize that. Very good. Let's talk a little bit about the freedom aspect of it. Excuse me, let's talk about the family aspect of it first. So we do have five different families' yards that are let, they're letting us use them for the Christmas lights. Do you want to talk a little bit about the community side of it? About? Certainly. So this is this has expanded over the years from about 14 years ago when we first started in our yard. The neighbors have become very involved in this one, and they love being part of this one. This is an incredible sense of community, not just with the neighbors that were that are helping use our yard and their trees and their lawns, but also the fact they're coming out to help us set up and put these lights up, connect everything, and do whatever they can to do to make this show a success and to make this show a gift to the community. And it's so the family as well, that it's, it's grandkids, it's nieces, it's nephews, it's brothers and sisters that come on out to help us. And then once we have the show set up, it's family that comes here. It's family out front after the day after Thanksgiving. It's family out there after Christmas dinner. It's families out there after their kids come back from college. They come and this is part of their family Christmas experience. And we really want to emphasize that. Absolutely. And by last, we want to talk about the actual freedom side of things. So if I'm not mistaken, we've been doing this for 14 years. And as of last year, we had collected a little over $25,000 that we send to the Cedar Creek Church Beyond Our Walls. And all that money goes down to Honduras and to Casa Hogar. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So Casa Hogar is a fantastic complex in Honduras. And as Tiffany mentioned, through Cedar Creek Beyond Our Walls, we've been partnering with them for 10 years now. We've sent over $25,000, and more will be going down this year. Uh, that complex provides family spaces, it provides housing, it provides education, medical facilities, there's an orphanage there, and also from the interesting freedom standpoint, we were able to assist a few years back in helping them build and equip a tortilla factory. Now this is really, sounds odd in our area, but when you think about what's happening out there and the impoverishedness that they have, this allows families to provide for themselves. It gives them working opportunities, and it gives them that hand up instead of a handout. They're able to build from that, and with the churches that we have there, the family education centers, the medical facilities, the, house, the, the housing, we build family faith and freedom through these donations. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Wood County. Faith, family, and freedom.